This is the frame that Ori built yesterday. <clears throat> it is 30 feet wide, or 30 inches wide, excuse me, 24 inches deep. And it is flush with the built-in that came with the apartment. A little bit, it's got a little bit of a lip. Um, but other than that, <clears throat> it's gonna provide lots of space. Lots, lots of space. So I'm excited to get the shelves done, the tracking done, the door, and uh, finish it up. So here we go. This is the material we bought for the pantry door, trim, shelves, all here. Popcorn. Bob's hat. Bob. Babe's having lunch. <laughs> Bob. No, babe. Babe is having lunch. You like the whole play. I'm Bob. Ew, stop. And uh, then we're going to get started. So we got one door on today. Um, again, you can see some of the scuffs and marks and stuff that we'll go over later. A little bit of glue seeped through. But anyway, um, this was not an easy task by any means. Uh, we got the <clears throat> soft close hinges and they were very difficult to get on. As you can see, there's a few marks here and there, but um, Ori's a perfectionist and he didn't stop until he got it. Uh, bumps and bruises along the way, but we're going to, you know, keep at it. Just one small thing at a time. It's really good so far. So here we are, day three of the pantry journey. I don't know if you can hear that, but Babe's outside cutting some tracking for the shelves. Both doors are on, and currently the handles are um, on but not secured yet. We're now putting the tracking in to set the shelves up and discussing, you know, how much space in between. I'm going to have quite tall and deep shelves so it's gonna be good because there'll be a lot of storage space like i said originally <clears throat> we bought some um i think it's called melamine trim that oh i can just iron on it to clean this up i'm probably gonna get some polyurethane paint to clean up all the scuffs if i can't wipe it off which is very possible but overall i think it looks damn good it's not done yet. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we are putting the last shelf in. So it fits. <laughs> Just like that, I have a pantry! <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, give it a close and open for the people. Okay. I'm gonna face the door handle, not quite. Yes, and I did wipe the cord. I wiped outside with a, what is it, a Mr. Clean um, Magic Eraser. And it got a lot of the scuffs out. Yeah, there's a little bit here. Whatever's left needs to be painted over. Yeah. Oh, gee, excuse Let's me. See. But this is it closed. Yeah, we've made a couple mistakes, but. Uh... Happy that we got it done, and now uh, it's a great idea. We did it together. Yeah. Okay. Give it open now. Oh. So much more storage now. You have no idea how much excitement this gives me. Now, uh, so what do you have left to do with it? Um. So we're going to be using what we call. What's it called? Everyone else calls it melamine. I keep calling it melanine because uh, that's how my brain works. But uh, yeah, this it's unrolled. It's going to get ironed on yeah. to the outside, the exposed wood portion, and that'll give it a nice finished look. Yeah, and all of the uh, here. All of the we're edges. Paint there. the one by three. Yeah. Paint all my mistakes, paint over everything. So. Yeah, but now it's fun and I can take over and babe is done. Um, and, um, and yeah, that's this small. I'll take it 10 minutes. So yeah, we are uh, excited. <laughs> I will do the final reveal once uh, it's, I guess once I get the trim on. But yeah. But, uh, what do you think all the materials cost? 
Um, I think we, so we estimated between 450 and five. We spent about 470 and to get this much out of it, plus we've got some extra bits and pieces here and there. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty pleased with it. We didn't have to go out and buy any extras, even though we did make errors. There were small errors that, you know, were manageable. So I think for 400 something dollars to have such a large pantry. We couldn't um, get anything this size. Yeah, that would have cost me over seven to $800 yeah. easy. Um, and it wouldn't have been as sturdy and as heavy duty as this. Like when you see how thick this is, and Babe still plans to um, add yeah, a- Yeah, we're, we're gonna put uh, like some steel um, strapping, like just something that can act as a spine, so it never bends, because you can see it does bend I mean, a little he's bit. a little bit more anal about it than me, because I'm you not putting anything- You can't unbend wood, so I just want to put it up there before yeah. we start, so. Yeah, so it is, uh, it's giving me, uh, get on Amazon and order all the organization things I can order. <laughs> and um, redo actually the entire kitchen because even you can see my countertop is getting too full. So I'm excited to kind of do some organizing. That's what I'll be doing while I'm hibernating this winter. <laughs> so this is the uh, semi-final results. We'll be back to show you the final. First project from Cox Cabinets. First and last, thank you yeah. very much. <laughs> yeah. Several days later. Well, this is how we're notching the tracks. So basically what he's doing is he's cutting a square, um, I guess, slot for this to fit inside the trim so it can um, assist in supporting the shelf. He cuts, he buys them, cuts them. <laughs> There's Bane being a nosy posy. Hey, Papa. Just marking out for the cut so it's a nice snug fit. You don't want to do exact math. You just put them top to top. Make sure they're going to fit across facing each other. It's a good thing I did because these holes are not the same. So this one's going to be a little bit more front and right in the middle. for the uh, column spines. It's not really the ideal saw for it, but I got it and I like it. Make sure I'm far enough down. And then, <clears throat> just to get it across, with a plane. It comes out and just clean it up a little bit. And there we have our notch for a spine to go across for the shelf. Awesome. So uh, these are the tracks that, as you can see, are going around there. So we just wanted some extra support. So we bought this Home Depot, $18. It's aluminum and took these off, cut it out to fit. So I'm just gonna put these back in. So we just notched these two tracks here and we're going to put the aluminum across. And this is just so that the shelves never bow, we can put a little bit heavier loads on them. Oh, <laughs> you can see me in the shadow. <laughs> and I'm just going to put the shelf in here now. Now we'll see if I push down this one. It flexes a little bit. This one shouldn't. It's solid. Nice. So the way she goes. We're gonna do that for most three of them. Of, probably just so the, we'll buy two more. Do the bottom three. No, we're gonna do that one as well because that's those are going back there likely. Okay. Yeah. So whichever ones you want. Cool. Awesome. Three days later. Okay, this is like a week later or two now. 
We are putting some trim on the edges of the exposed wood to give it a, a more finished look because we don't want to paint it. And this is apparently how they do it with cupboards and stuff. It's um, a roll of melamine. It's really smart to an old guy in the old Home Depot showed us this. Yeah. So I created did some of this, roll it on and iron it. We ironed it on and then just cut off the excess with a sharp knife. Something very sharp. Yep. Melamine pre-glued veneer edging. I'm not doing a great job with this one. We just basically do that do the best we can. We'll probably touch that with paint. Just file the edge. Yeah, I did. We'll make sure that one faces down. And so that's what we're doing to get towards the finished product. So right it's now, really okay. Babe has just finished trimming the edges. This one had a bit of a lift, so I am going over it with the iron. The setting is required to be at 400 or cotton setting on your iron. And um, you just go over it. And then, once you've gone over it, you use something to apply pressure. I had another piece from um, <clears throat> the project. And you just go over it, apply pressure. And that sets it. That's all I need. So now the lifted part is no longer lifting. Good. Fill that back up and we'll just see how it looks. <clears throat> this is the only one that doesn't have one of those spines, so just for the white stuff. Excellent. And then we get the chalk paint. Paint that any um exposed edges. Huh? We got two more to go. Yeah. Going good. Yeah. What do you have to say? I love it. <laughs> how? How did they get his list? I know. Maybe someone's access for a most police station? Hey, Oz, get your ass over here. Please help, dude. All right. Bye, so we did the shelves. We take a break for some dinner and relaxing because it's Sunday. And then the week we'll finish these edges. And then I'm gonna get some paint and paint these. And then I'm gonna paint and go over the marks on the out outer trim. And then I will get to organizing. Cannot wait. Several days later. Okay, so we got some, don't mind that noise, it's the wind. It's like a really, really windy day out here. So we have some chalk paint, we have a uh, sanding block, our chalk paint brush, and some blue tape. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to lightly sand the trim. Um, not that I really think chalk paint requires anything to be sanded, but just for heaven's sakes, <laughs> I'm going to sand down the trim and then I'm going to paint them one at a time. And uh, if maybe while I'm letting that dry, I will work on the door melamine trim because that still has to be done. Baby is working today. And so this is my Saturday project. It is December 11th, 2021. <laughs> So this is real country living. I've lost power. <laughs> As you can see, there is no power. 
It's around 3.09, so out here it's about to get dark in an hour. So God help me. In the meantime, this is the finished product and I can't see what it looks like. So this is why I'm coming here with this because I can see that underneath needs a little bit of work, but not much. You can see, oh yeah, there you go. You can see, but other than that, it's pretty good across the board. I'll probably insert some footage once I have power again, but you know, gotta keep moving. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do underneath, run over it just quick with one little thing and then move on to the second row. Also painted the uh, exposed wood here just because it was like that color and I didn't want to see it it's just chalk paint and it's just the melamine so it's not like perfect there you go it's not perfect but I feel like if you stand back right it's not as obvious but they're coming out well <sighs> almost done it's dark now and we have power again thank god but because of the power outages this was a longer process than it should have been but i'm done to the last one so and it's only 602 so that's not too bad okay so just waiting for that to dry before i put the last shelf in but i am not done yet after i go shower because i'm scared <laughs> i'm gonna lose power again but i'm gonna go shower and then when i'm done i'm gonna work on the trim for here because it just looks so good and that'll be the finishing touch as discussed previously i still have to do some painting out here I don't know, maybe I'll just chalk paint it. I don't know. But this, I will not be uh, putting the melamine on because you got to get really close and cut it. And it's just a lot of risk of cutting it. If we happen to take the doors off, then I'll do, we'll do it then. That'll be the uh, only way. Or he might want to take the doors off, but I'm not rushing him and he's not in any rush. So for now, the outside melamine trim will stay and yeah looking really good really really good and this is the final paint project looks good <clears throat> What I've decided to do is instead of spending more money on the polyurethane paint, I decided to use the chalk paint on the scuffs on the outside trim, the decorative trim, if you will, because you obviously can't tell, but you hear that? It's textured. It's not smooth like that. That's the way it came. <clears throat> So I figured the chalk paint wouldn't do much damage if I decided just to give it a try. So I know where the scuffs are. That one is like marked, so that's not going anywhere. But I know where the scuffs are or were. You don't. And it's not bad. So I just applied the, what is it? Melamine. Melanine. Melamine. 
Melanie's, uh, I keep saying that too. Melamine, okay. I just applied well, it. Melan, melan, no, yeah, melamine. <laughs> I keep mixing up. Melamine. I know, baby is uh, cleaning up the edges. We have this side plus this door to finish. We did run out because we did, I mean, we did quite a lot with the roll. We did all the shelves, this door plus the in, inside like there. So we still have. Can I show the seal? What? Once you cut it down fairly close, you just file. And I've made a mistake. You don't file on angles. That's how you chip the back portion. I did that a little bit. Just file it straight in and it just kind of rubs it into the corner and smooths it off. And then you get a... Nice clean corner. And that's all there is to putting it off. Just cut it close and just rub off the excess. And it seems to rub kind of into there. I'll probably clean that up a little bit of pain, but I'm happy with it. Maybe your fire is too strong. Could be. Yeah, after we finish this. And I will start on organizing. I've bought some more organizational stuff. I'm excited to get it started. up the pantry so all of the what was once exposed is no longer exposed the pantry is finished now I'm going to organize it and my kitchen I hope you enjoyed this video of watching me and my hubby build a pantry from scratch it was not easy we learned a lot of things we have to fix the doors because we put the hinges a little too low. So we've we seen it kind of bows as it comes in. So we're gonna have to fix that. But you know, this is this is real life. This is realistic. This is not built to perfection because you know, YouTube sometimes makes you think that everything is done perfectly the first time, and that's not true. So that is the end of this video. I will see you in the next one. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.